blinded in old age. You can't see. No, I turn the light on. Can't see the What's going on? Uh, so what are, we, what are we doing right now? You know, we have a series of- What are we doing right now? We're going to Southern Railway Tap House for a growler release party because Chase likes growlers, the big things that go blood blood and they go purr. And we get some food and some burp. Well, I'm not going to drink. Um, and, uh, so basically I've been- How do you get out of here? You go- You go in the one direction you're on, to me! <laughs> um, I haven't lifted it all this week, so basically the whole point of this little vlog, or intro at least, is going to be this way, this way, this way! <laughs> The whole intro is just gonna be like, you know, I haven't trained since my powerlifting competition. It's been like three days. And even though I took a deload off the week before, I'm just kinda hanging out. I'm just kinda relaxing, eating whatever I want. So I'm gonna show you what I eat. And I'm just like a normal, normal human. And then uh, next week will be get back on track week. But I will show you what we eat at this restaurant. Never been here. It's probably gonna be a bunch of interesting food that you cannot track the macros. I'm strictly guessing. Y'all. So this is the dish. This is a chicken and pasta spicy dish. And then Chase got a steakhouse or steak cheese steak. Rib, rib cheese steak. With that tap house on there. And then a disgusting beer. All right, so a little bit of a shirt update, I guess, for you guys. <clears throat> so they originally supposed to get delivered today, and I, when you get shirts from overseas or anything from overseas, really, you have to pay customs on them. So I paid them at seven this morning when they got into Ohio, and then they got into Richmond, and then they said they're getting held because they didn't pay. And I called, and they're like, "Yeah, you paid, but is if you pay the same day, you have to wait the next day to pick them up." And I'm like, I can't do that, I got a time schedule. So annoying, even though I paid like seven this morning before they were even in my state. But I'm uh, gonna drive to the DHL packaging facility in Richmond and then pick those bad boys up. Hopefully a whole bunch of packages fit in the Jeep. I'm gonna have to put some seats down and whatnot, but uh, we'll make it work. And that car's turning, of course. And I will show you guys when we get there. We have arrived. So as you see here, <laughs> car is completely filled up with all of the boxes. So really excited. Let's go home and let me show them to you. By, but by the time you see this video, I guess they'll probably already be sold out. <laughs> Welcome back. So we're back from getting all the packages out of the car and doing everything. I've actually already filmed for the day of eating, which announced the shirts right there, and you see it is a mess in here. Here's all of the, <coughs> excuse me, boxes of shirts. Again, more than likely, by the time this video is up, they are already gone, but uh, if you guys, if there happen to be a few, I would recommend you snag one. Again, I think these are gonna be the best fitting, best quality shirts you've ever put your hands on. Um, I have the mint one, and then I have the black with the blue gun on the side. Little hang tag that's dangling down there. But, um, and a lot of, I actually got some samples of the new designs and new colors that I'm so excited about. So excited. Chase is actually gonna come down, and then we're gonna go to the gym. I'll probably rock one of these newer shirts. And I'm excited, because I haven't lifted, as I said in the earlier clip, I haven't lifted since Sunday, or Saturday, at the powerlift meet. So that'll be pretty interesting. So one thing that's cool is I got a gift in the mail today, and I know what this is. One of my favorite YouTubers, <laughs> you might know her as uh, Marissa Lace on the YouTube machine. She comments on my videos. We are friends, and she knows. Get out of the box! Get open this. She knows that I love Rips candy because I, I, I talked to her, and I mentioned that I can't get the Rippin' Reds, which I have not tried yet. So. <laughs> What she did is she actually sent me a whole bunch of bags. There's more in here. Oh, the Rips Ribbon Reds, which I'm gonna try. So thank you, Marissa Lace! And I got candy for days! If you guys wanna send me any gifts, 
I will put my address down below. Just kidding, we'll put my address down below. But if you get a shirt, you'll know my address, and you can send me gifts. Woo! I love candy. <laughs> Going to the gym now. In the words of Max Tuning, these are pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so this will be a third set, 225. Probably doing a 5x5. Five five. Feeling weak after not training for a couple days. So we're doing a 5x5, five five, 225. See how we So moving on to some incline machine stuff. Now I never do machine because I don't have a machine like this in my gym. So first time ever in like months. Oh. Hold the camera. Okay, so basically we're doing a full body workout today. So we did flat bench, then we did the machine press, and I didn't film any of the dumbbell or barbell rows. We've done one row already. When I do a like full body, um, I'll usually do like a wide grip row, and now I'm doing like a close grip low row. And then I did the incline bench and then the flat bench, and I'll probably do maybe like bicep. Or usually, I think finishing out workouts with pull ups is always a great idea. Kind of a bicep back workout but uh gonna do these so going back up and don't back into that guy can you see me when you run the row so to uh to finish out the workout we are gonna do just some bicep curls I think in my entire history of doing bicep curls, I've never gone above. I think I've done fifties back in the day, and then I, I was just like, ah, ah. so I do like forties, like alternating like sets of eight. So finished with the workout. Uh, when I said full body earlier, I basically meant upper body, like push pull and some biceps which are also pull um, I don't really like working out at goals and stuff because there's so many people I don't like the weights I don't like the barbells and I don't know I like the environment that in my gym is I really if I ever move which I will eventually I need to definitely keep a gym that has that environment that I love like that intensity so I'm gonna head home now and probably start putting all the I have to put all the shirt stuff together so let's put the pictures and make the website and lots of stuff put them away and uh, that's what I'll be doing post workout meal gonna go to this place called Zoe's kitchen which is delicious I'm not gonna eat all this all right so what we got is steak kebabs now I personally as Chase would know that I think kebabs are a stupid food because <laughs> because why, you, you cook the food it doesn't and then do any extra work. yeah you put cook the food and then you got to put all the food on the sticks to cook it and then you just take it off the sticks to eat it. We always make kebabs. Ke 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 we make kebabs at like for cookouts. I'm like, why don't you just put the meat the meat on this on the put the meat on the the thing and then just eat it. But this is gonna be delicious. It's not that funny, Chase. <laughs> Think it's funny? Are you having yourself a giggle? Um, having a hoot hoot hoot. Got uh, some rice. And then some little pita, little salad. What the hell are these? Gross. Get that off of there. 
and then uh, kebabs. So this is gonna be a delicious post-workout meal.